Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me for this acrylic painting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint some easy cherry blossoms. We're going to be using uh, some tools that you have around the house so you don't have to have any fancy brushes for this one. I'm going to make it very, very beginner friendly, first time painter friendly. Uh, I've got my husband Mark with me. Hey there, everybody. He's man in chat for our live show. So if you have questions while I'm painting, you can ask those and I will try to answer them. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm using a 12 by 12 inch canvas panel. This is an archival watercolor canvas board from Fredericks, but uh, you could use any size canvas you want. Um, Fredericks is our canvas sponsor, so they provided our canvases for today. Thank you to them. Um, I'm just got a few brushes. Now, if you don't have brushes, you can just use cotton swabs. So um, don't you know, don't feel like you have to go run out and buy any expensive brushes. These are uh, my Princeton brushes. I've got a number eight bright, number six filbert, and number four filbert. And I'm going to need a number, what, I didn't pull it out, <laughs> number two round as well. Uh, and these are the 6100 series of the Princeton brushes. They're our brush sponsor. So thank you to them. Um, if you don't have any fancy brushes, you can just use like a foam brush for the background. Uh, and then, like I said, uh, use some Q-tips or something like that for uh, some of the detail work. Um, we're going to keep it very, very simple today. Um, and you can adapt this to any size canvas that you like. Let's go over our colors really quick. I've got a quinacridone magenta cadmium red light, uh, cadmium yellow medium, yellow oxide, phthalo green yellow shade teal, Thalo Blue Green Shade, uh, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, uh, uh, Titanium White, and Unbleached Titanium. Uh, teal can be mixed with the uh, Thalo Blue and Thalo Green and a little bit of white. So if you don't have that one, don't worry about it. Uh, and really, you can substitute any of these colors that you'd like. You could do any color of uh, cherry blossoms. If you don't want to do pink, you could do white ones or whatever color background you want to do. This one's really easily adaptable to pretty much any kind of style. All right, so to start with, I'm just going to kind of, I, I went ahead and just covered it, the, the canvas, with a coat of yellow oxide and white equal parts, um, and uh, just lightly kind of with some water uh, painted that on there. So it's, it's kind of blotchy. It's not really, it doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but I just wanted a little bit of color down underneath uh, for our upper layers, and uh, then we're going to just lightly sketch and we're not really going to put a lot of detail into our sketch but we're just going to kind of sketch out our main branch so we've got one main branch that's kind of coming down like that and then uh, right about here it kind of branches off this way and then there's a couple of smaller ones that kind of come off here and up here we've got one that kind of comes off maybe off cam canvas here. And then we're seeing a little bit of flower blossoms up through here, some flower blossom clusters through here. And I'm just going to kind of do a few little, kind of sort of just the boundaries of some of these flowers. Um, we're going to be painting around them with the green paint, and then we're going to um, paint the pink blossoms in too. So we'll be doing kind of both. Uh, let's see. So we've got a cluster here. There's just, you can kind of just do little. This one's mostly covered, really. A lot of that branch is covered. And then there's some smaller branches farther back out here that kind of come down here that we're seeing right there. These ones are farther away, a little bit more blurry. And... So there we go. That's pretty. I hope you can see that. And then over here, we're going to just have some kind of clusters of blossoms. And you can do little circles if you want or however it makes it easier for you to kind of figure out where to put your flowers. Um, there's another branch that comes down right here. It's got a few flowers off of it. And then another major branch right here that comes down that we're seeing that... There's several flower blossoms coming off of that. And it comes out and almost touches this one here and off the end. All right, so there we go. So it's pretty much covering up most of our canvas there with just little flower blossoms. And you can do as many or as few as you like. I'm going to just kind of 
start with my large brush. Now, if you don't have a large brush, you could use um, the, the foam brush or like a smaller foam brush for this. I'm going to go ahead and use my number eight right here. But this is about a one inch. So if you had like a one inch foam brush, you could use this for this part. And I'm going to grab some teal. And if you don't want to have to mix colors, you can just kind of pick out some colors that you like for your background. So that's another way of doing this. I'm going to use teal and a little bit of the thalo green to create a light minty green. So it's basically thalo blue plus a little bit of thalo or a lot of thalo green, a little bit of thalo blue and some white for the background. Um, that's what teal, teal is just kind of equal parts of those two colors. So we're going a little bit more on the green side with this. And I'm just going to mix up a nice big batch of it right over here on my palette. And I'm going to start in this corner and I'm just going to dab it on around my flower clusters. And maybe leave a little bit of that yellow showing through in some places. It doesn't have to be perfectly covered. And I'm going to go in between my flowers. Yeah, I picked up a little bit more of the white color here. And wherever we don't put this green is going to be kind of our pink areas. So just kind of look at your picture and see where green is. We can always add more of this later, so if you don't get it all the right now, that's fine. It's not a big deal. We're just kind of trying to start to layer down some color. And the reason I did the yellow underneath is because I'm seeing a lot of the yellow in my flowers as well as in this color in the background. And um, so it'll just kind of give it an, another... I always feel like any extra layers adding extra layers to your painting um, just gives it more depth and more interesting um, look to it. So um, you could totally leave this part out if you just wanted to paint the whole thing with this light green and didn't want to paint around it um, like I'm doing here. That's that's another way of doing it, and that's totally fine. It's up to you. So you can adapt this however you want to. If you're doing it with kids, I might not do this layer. I might just do, because they might have a hard time kind of figuring out where to put the paint. Um, so I might just do the um, this green over the whole thing and then do your flowers around, you know, on top of it. So first, it's like cake. The more layers, the better. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And then did you switch it up and go to a 12 by 12 canvas? Yes, I did. Okay. We'll need to update I think your, I said that. Probably. We got some people coming in and your description still has the old. I thought it, I has, thought I changed it. Oh, well, maybe you did. I haven't refreshed. Yeah, I had changed it just before the show, so okay. it, should be, it should be right. Well, I'm slow. No, that's okay. I, oh, I noticed no. that just before I started, so I, I did. No, I, I was thinking about it. cake. <laughs> Priorities. Mm-hmm. You obviously haven't eaten yet today, so no, I, <laughs> I can always tell. I had a cookie, <laughs> but I'm really excited about tonight. Why? Because it's the first show in my new chair. I know, Mark got a brand new chair. Oh, no. thank you, Patreon people. <laughs> Angela treated me to a new chair this weekend. <laughs> I was like, yay. No more sitting on <laughs> What our... really happened was I had to sit in it the other week. When my friend was here, and I realized how uncomfortable that chair was. That Sitting you were in. in the in the wooden dining chair. Yeah, I was like, "This is really bad. I need to get Mark a new chair." <laughs> <laughs> so that's what really happened. That's the real story. I was like, "I don't want to sit in that again. I don't know how he's been sitting in it for so long." <laughs> You're a good sport, honey. <laughs> we're frugal. Yeah. Hey, that's important. Mm -hmm. You gotta. We sit through these <laughs> shows. You got four-hour show sometimes you're sitting there you definitely want to be comfortable okay so you can kind of see where we're coming through here and you could do it the other way too if this is kind of messing with your mind and you're having a hard time seeing where to do this green you could do the pink first and then do the green around it afterwards so it's it really doesn't matter this is all about making it easy for you just having a fun experience with painting and i'm just going to help you hopefully show you how to do that would be a really fun one to do with a group party or something like that. You'd 
have some wine and really go to that, go to town. Have some interesting <laughs> art come out of it. <laughs> Who knows? But this would definitely be one that I would use with my kids' classes too. This would anything that I did with like Q tips or anything like that. They really enjoyed uh, cotton swabs. Um, working with unusual art um, instruments. That was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Well, it makes it more approachable. Yeah. You know, you don't, like you say, you don't have to go out and spend tons of money. Well, you can you just get in and go. Paint in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But like we've said in other uh, cotton swab videos, do not Use them in your ears after the show. <laughs> Just, you know. <laughs> we'll rinse them out first, at least. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I can't. My allergies are acting up. My <laughs> got a cough. <laughs> All right. So there we go. There's our background. You can see where I did some lighter areas and darker areas just to, to give it some depth. You know, just a little interesting parts. Nothing super fancy. Just really dabbing it on there. Let my brush stroke show. This is a lot of fun. Alrighty. So now for the fun part with the flowers, let's uh, do our branches first, I guess. So probably uh, we'll do we'll do the branches, and then we'll probably end up having to do them twice because um, some of them will be covered up by flowers. So I'll do some to start with, and then we'll. Do them again probably once we get some flowers on there. So I'm going to use my round brush, and um, you could you could totally just use a Q-tip for this. So you just use a single Q-tip and just paint this in cotton like swab. that with your cotton swab. Sorry, not Q-tip. Cotton swab. Cotton swab. <laughs> Mark's going to go back through and edit out all dub the, that in. Dub that in. So Ornament. I'm just going to paint in just really simple branches here. with burnt sienna, or just a brown of any of your choice. And I'm gonna put in a few smaller offshoots there. Now let's do this big one here. And this kind of painting is nice because you really don't have to worry too much about getting your lines just right. Just kind of get it on there. You can do them in short, short sections. So these branches actually have a lot of segments to them. So um, they'll look natural if you have kind of some start and stop points in your branch, like I'm doing there. Does that make sense? Mark's not listening. It makes sense. Good. If I was listening. <laughs> you're pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure you know what you're talking about okay. by now. I mean, you've been doing this long enough. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if we were talking about like changing the oil in a car, then I'd be no. like, hmm, be like no, that I'm not sure. No, not at all. Okay. Don't put your keys in there. All right. All right, so that's kind of just our basic branches there. Not not a lot. And clean that out. Make sure you clean out your brushes and lay them off to the side. Um, to And don't let them dry out before you wash them out completely. So just kind of keep them wet while they're setting out. Try to get my hand clean here. I got paint all over myself. This would have been a good one for my lava soap. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> okay. All right. So now, now the flowers. So I'm going to start out with my white and just a little bit of pink, just a tiny bit of pink. I picked up a little bit of that unbleached. Or a cadmium red light too. So it's kind of a, like a peachy pink color. 
very light. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this unbleached titanium too and do kind of a version with the unbleached titanium with a little bit of pink in it. This will have a little bit of a yellow tone to it. So I've got a couple pink there. I'm just going to actually mix those two together. I kind of think I want something sort of in between. There we go. And then I'm going to just kind of start dabbing that on. And I have gathered together, let me see, one, two, four, six, eight q-tips q together here and I'm just going to dab on my pink flowers sort of in that open area you can kind of see where I want to put my flowers I so left that area open with my yellow and I'm trying not to make it too like obvious q-tip shape so I'm sort of dabbing them in random patterns sort of doing like little circles as I dab that'll kind of help spread them out a little bit and make them a little bit more natural looking grab some of that green add it the background color this one's these ones that are farther away if we add a little bit of that background color it'll make them look more gray it'll make them kind of blend back into that background a little bit and help with that illusion of distance so just these ones that are like right in here that are these smaller branch that's kind of in be behind everything I'm gonna use just a little bit of that green from the background and see how I've got all this kind of nice yellow peeking through still that's fine too we don't have to cover everything right this first layer that's totally fine some of this gray one up in here so this is the one that's got a little bit of that background green in it back up in here See, this comes together really quickly. Let me get a bunch more white here. Put some there, and I'm just going to put a bunch right here so we can use it. We'll keep this part clean and we'll use this stuff over here. Man, we got some really super fans out there. Really? Why? Yeah, because two of them were celebrating a birthday. Ooh. Yep, and so they sent us a gift. What? Yeah. Sent us the gift for their birthday? Of course. <laughs> okay, well, we need to do shout outs for we're, that. We're rewriting the rules for, for Deb and Denise, so. Happy birthday, Deb and Denise. We'll share our birthday gifts awesome. when, when we get them. That's awesome. In the Facebook group. <laughs> That is too sweet. Thank you guys. Happy birthday. What do you mean? They sent us stuff? Or yeah. in the mail? Yes, in the mail. Oh. Okay. Yes. I they did a super chat. No, 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 no. Wow. Something more valuable. Hopefully like chocolate or something. Or magnets for your board. Ooh. There maybe. Hashtag magnets for Mark. <laughs> I, uh. I was tired of looking at Mark's hobo boxes, box court, <laughs> back in that corner. He had, he had his whole area covered with boxes and soundproofing. I was like a little boy. It was bad. I was making a sound chamber soundproof out of chamber out of 
out cardboard of old boxes, and, boxes that we got stuff in the mail in and so things. And, I bought him some nice metal screens that are like made for that so I don't have to look at his cardboard hobo fort anymore <laughs> <laughs> I went with a little bit brighter pink here uh, when I reloaded so real quick yeah, what are some thing here a little bit brighter pink for this ones in the foreground here what do you know of anything other than brushes and cotton swabs that are going to give us the same effect I mean, well, we could use a sponge, probably. Sponge. Could, could you uh, do wood finger painting work? Yeah, I think so. Totally think so, yeah. Yeah, finger painting would work really mm -hmm. well, actually. In fact, I thought about doing this in wood finger painting, but I decided to do cotton swabs instead. But yeah, this would totally be work with finger painting. Just didn't feel like getting messy. Toes? No toes, honey. No toes. I guess that means nose is out too. Darn it. <laughs> so hi everybody. I yes. Think I'm a little bit or I guess I'm okay. We're I this feel weird. Like I'm going off camera there. No, you're you're right completely on, on camera there. Okay. All right. This is us. If you like us, give us a subscribe, thumbs up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're a little bit weird. So A little bit. <laughs> Most of our folks are just just weird enough to enjoy it. So, <laughs> with that one with us. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we've got our brighter colors down here in the foreground. And I'm going to use these brighter colors a little bit up through here. Use a little bit of yellow oxide mixed in with that color just to kind of tone it down just a little bit. I'm going to just do variations of these colors just all through this painting. So variations of the yellows and pinks in these flowers, kind of mixtures of them. Okay, not pretty already. I think it is. Grabbing some more of that unbleached titanium. Gonna use that with this color. Add some darker to this background. This is that one that's kind of cut with the yellow or uh, with the yellow oxide, so it's a little bit more dulled color. This is nice too because you can really kind of beat these up. You don't have to worry about them. Your brush getting messed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can really kind of just dab and. Scrub with them. Oh, it's already really pretty. Yeah, like they're, it. they're saying that you're moving pretty fast there. Yeah, I mean we're 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 going pretty fast. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we're gonna. Like I said before, you're long today. You're painting it like you stole it. <laughs> Paint it like you stole it. All right, getting some white on just a single Q-tip here. And I'm going to kind of highlight some of the edges of some of these and kind of maybe make some individual blossoms of some of these ones that are in the more forward areas. So just kind of try to pick out some spots that I look that look like they're maybe overlapping and just define some blossoms. Mostly on this side. Seems like our light's coming from this direction. So we're going to be highlighting kind of this side of some of the clusters. So kind of like that. Makes sense. I added a little bit of unbleached titanium to this so it's not pure white. And I'm just going to go around here. 
highlight just a few. It doesn't have to be all of them. See how that's making it look like that sunlight's hitting them on the edges. Really make them bright. And then we'll add the centers to our flowers and that'll make give them some depth. So we're kind of started with our mid-tones and then we'll add our light and dark on top to give it some dimension. Really, these ones are pretty small, so you're not really seeing a whole lot of detail back in here. I do want to give them a little bit of highlights, but then these ones in here are really pretty bright, so I want to really define some of these bright blossoms in here. So you're not dabbing right now, you're more smearing? Yeah, I'm kind of smearing, drawing it in with the... So if I was using my brush, I would be, I would be, like if I used my Filbert brush, if you don't want to use Q-tips, I would be using the edge of the brush to kind of dab in, and I would have been doing the same thing with my flower clusters, is just dabbing it with the Filbert brush and dabbing in my shapes that way. I really like that the the kind of free feeling, the free form that the um, Q-tips give it, because you're you're um, not able to control it as much, so you get like more random shapes, and which which I think with flowers is really um, important. I got a little too much right there. I'm gonna just use that background color. a little bit more of that background color right there. Am I too close to Mike? No, the mic was in the camera. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Somebody was like, it's a black blob, the mic. <laughs> it's like, Has oh. it been there the whole time? Yeah, it didn't even oh, that's it. funny. <laughs> All right, so now that I've got my pink in here, I'm using this green now, going back in with this and just kind of filling in some of the spaces that I may not have caught with the, it the first time. Hey, my, we need to return my chair. Why? It doesn't have a snack holder on it. <clears throat> okay, I think that's a first world problem there, honey. There's no place to put cookies and chips okay, and stuff. I think you're fine. I think you'll survive. <sighs> fine. All right, I'm going to use some of the... Umber with my thil with my yellow oxide here, and I'm just going to kind of run this over my branch here to give it a little bit of dimension. And this is where I can kind of fill back in if I covered up all of my branch in some places. Maybe put them back in a little bit. And if you need a thin, a super thin um, section, you can take all of the stuffing off of your q-tip and just use the point of it and it will draw for you. You can also use toothpicks. That works. Scratchy scratch. Ooh, actually works pretty good. Can you hear it? 
Yeah, actually kind of satisfying. And I think I solved my problem. Did you? Yeah, I'm just going to make one out of a cardboard box. No. No. <coughs> no more cardboard. Wow, that was a fast no. <laughs> that, did, that didn't even get it out of my mouth. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of shh nope. right here. Got a whole box of no right here for you with your <laughs> name on it. <laughs> Just say no to cardboard boxes, Marky. All right, so there we go. We got just little scratchy lines there for our sticks. Clean this out. This out. And I still haven't gone through here and finished my white highlights, so I need to do that on these ones. You can get a little bit of water on there. Pick up some of that light white, bright white. Some of this darker, if I can get some. Let me spray this. There we go. There's some darker right in here. say that so if you're new to the channel and uh we said i earlier but if you just click the show more and down below is a list of all the supplies paints and canvas size and if you need some brushes there's a link to the brush guys down there make sure you use the code angela fine art five percent off And then jump over to the okay. to the Facebook page. Yeah, we have lots of fun over on Facebook. Thirteen thousand members. Holy moly! Use a little bit of burnt sienna with my quinacridone magenta here. And I've mixed it in just a little bit. Just, just cut the intensity just a little bit here. And I'm going to dab in some centers of some flowers. So this is where I get very strategic about, you know, where I'm putting this color. I want to find areas where it would make sense that there would be a center of a flower blossom. Yeah, you just look at your picture for help if you want. You've already kind of put some some um, outlines in, so you can kind of find the centers of those areas and just dab this in there. Okay. And this, these farther ones are smaller, so I'm just going to kind of dab very lightly. The smaller ones, if you do these smaller and these ones bigger, that automatically makes those look small, you know, farther away. So just think about that when you're putting those in. Ooh. 
Don't do all of them. If you leave a few spaces, then you can, it makes it, you know, look like there's some that are pointing away from us, some that we're seeing the backside of them. We're not going to see the centers of all these flowers. They're not all pointed towards us. Okay, let's do some small ones over here. Write it down in here. There's big ones. And this is also where you can kind of go, okay, I need to, you know, I need to more of this white color around this one because I don't have a full flower there so it's so once you put a center in then you can kind of see maybe build other flowers around if you want to fill in certain areas so I'm seeing some areas here that I kind of missed and just fill those in some of that unbleached titanium, use some of that. Highlight out some of these blossoms here. See all that? And we can do the same thing down here, just kind of, if we see any blossoms, that we need to define a little bit better. We can do that. Use that center color. Okay, let's do a little bit of that darker color right over here. this up so it doesn't look like like perfect circles right there. Just gonna dab around them to mess up the edges. There we go. Let's do some more right here. Adding this bright color pulls it forward. So think about where you want your blossoms to overlap and we can put this white color on top to pull that petal forward in front of everything else. Just going back through here now. And if 
finding some of those flower edges. Just a little bit. Not all of them have to be defined because there are some of them where you're just seeing the parts of them because they're so overlapped. So, not every shape has to be fully defined. All right. That's pretty good. Let's add some more of this lighter. with a little bit of the green in it back in here okay and then I'm going to use this brush you can use You can use the Q-tip if you want to. I'm going to put a few leaves in. I mixed in some green, some phthalo green with my um, with my phthalo or with my yellow oxide. Sorry. Just dabbing in a few little leaves in here. And if you do those with the Q-tip, you just you do them the same way. You just kind of set it down and sort of swipe. They're a little bit easier to do with the brush, but you can still get a similar shape with the Q-tip. Okay. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush. You could use a toothpick or something like that. And I'm going to use this cadmium red light and some yellow, some quinacridone magenta and mix those two together make a bright cherry red and I'm going to dab little dots in some of these darkest areas here Which brush did you grab? This is the round brush, but you could use a toothpick or something if the you want. Numero do. Yeah. Two. Mm -hmm. Dos. Yep. Sorry, I got a little too much on that one, so I just wiped it off with a wet cloth. If you can catch it while it's still wet, you can wipe off any kind of mistakes that you have. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to do it perfect the first time. and uh, But you just have to catch it before it dries fully. fully. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of lighter color. Just to soften those centers up just a little bit. Just dabbing in some more 
color in some of these areas. I'm pretty close to being done. Only you know, like 45 minutes, pretty good one. Nice and short. And then there's a few of them that are a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go in with some. Yeah, I should have done this first. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to darken up a couple of these, but it's going to be more trouble than it's worth, so we'll just leave it as is. Grab a little bit more of the quinacridone, which is the straight white. So this will be a little bit brighter pink. And just make sure that any of the sticks kind of make sense so that you don't have like any sticks kind of hanging off uh, out in the middle of nowhere. So kind of cover up any branches or have something that attaches to all your branches so they all kind of make sense visually. So just go through and find the ends of my branches and make sure I have some sort of little flower detail or something at the end of all of them. Go in with a little bit darker. Some dark areas, just in a few places. This will just add some visual depth. So I'm looking at it now and going, you know, I kind of want a few like areas that are just a little bit darker just to kind of lead the eye around so like maybe up in here just to like a little bit darker cluster and over in here and then your eyes gonna come down this way to the these ones that are kind of darker A little bit darker bits in the centers of some of these.
Now I'm just kind of playing. Really, you could stop at any time here. So this is just adding little extra details here. I think that's pretty good. So I've got a little bit of dark up here, and then it kind of gets darker down in here. Let me grab a little bit of this burnt umber and just add a little to my branch in here. Find it a little bit. Get a flower in front right there, and I want to cover that up. What are you thinking? Do we need anything else? Mm. The audience usually lets me know if I've missed anything. No, I think, I think it's good. Uh, pretty good there. Right. It's almost the same color as my phone block. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that that's good. super duper done. Fun? Let's splatter it. Why not? What? It feels like it needs it. Hashtag splatter movement. I didn't end up using that yellow at all. So you can leave that cadmium yellow off. Sorry if you've already put it out. Mm. I mean, we could probably add a little touch of it to the centers of some of our flowers. Because some of, sometimes these little ones, I'm using a fan brush here, so. Yeah, you just jumped in there, didn't you? Explain the whole chemical composition of splatter. Yeah, you just need to water down your brush a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and use this pink yellow in the centers of our flowers. That's pretty... Just using the corner of my brush here, fan brush. Um, yeah, you, the watered down paint will uh, allow it to kind of splatter off your brush easily. So, and I just hold it really firmly with one hand and just tap with the other hand. Just use a little bit of this yellow as well. Ooh, big splatters. And if you get too much on there, you can always dab it off with a wet, wet towel. Okay, so when you do splatters, I'm gonna, I've got to get uh, that picture of Liam in here so I can pop that up. <laughs> pop that up whenever I do splatters. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I think, I think I that's going to I think that's a happen. good idea. <laughs> Poor Liam. He's going to be part of the show. Mm -hmm. Liam's our grandchild, first grandbaby, by the way, so, for those who didn't know already, um, which we've talked about him enough that most people I do, uh, I've watched our shows more than once this, since, since January, um, let me see here, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a small brush here to do my signature, and we'll call it a day. If you want the traceable for this, I'll have it available on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Angela Fine Art. As well as all the traceables for all of the videos that we've done since 2017. February 2017 we started doing traceables. Yeah. So. And if you're watching this live or before March 1st, 2019... We recommend that you may wait until March 1st. Yeah. For signing that up. way you don't have to pay another. We're so close to the end of the month because they charged you at the first of the month, no matter when you signed up right. the previous month. So you, you don't want to have to pay twice within two days. 
Unless you absolutely need it right away. Exactly. Which might be the case. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to connect using this liner brush here. Just connect a few of these little things here. That was a little too much. All right, I'm gonna call that good. That was fun. Very easy. Very, very easy, I think. Definitely beginner friendly. Oh yeah, you could do that with, like you said, with your kids. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, I, this would be group. a great Easter project. You know, if you can have a bunch of your family over. You could, mm -hmm. Set this up and everybody make their own flowers. It's a lot easier. And I have several other. I have a lavender. Um, I have hollyhocks. I have um, some white cherry blossoms that I did last spring, um, all using Q-tips. So um, if you want other projects, options, you can look at those projects too. So mm -hmm. anyhow, thanks for watching with us today. And we will be back on saturday with another video for you we're going to be doing a barn It'll be nice like a barn we'll be working on some good clouds there and uh be very simple i think so nice simple landscape all right hope you guys have a great week and we will see you next time bye